Rotorua here in New Zealand. Such an amazing place. And I'll tell you what, here in Rotorua, it's the geothermal centre of New Zealand. It's the action capital of New Zealand, but it's also the cultural heart of New Zealand. And here at Tamaki Mali Village, you're going to experience all that and so much more. What a welcome, eh? What a welcome. Once you are welcomed into the village, you will enter into the Māori spirit and way of life. Ladies will learn the art of poi. You will be challenged by traditional stick games. We got halfway there. <laughs> the stories of ancestors, the warriors, their art forms, including the relevance of their tribal yeah. tattoos. You will even get the privilege of learning a traditional haka. Well, the boys anyway. The migration of the Maldi people from Hawaii and the importance of the waka haru, which unlike this single hulled canoe, is more like today's catamaran. The whole experience is not only a learning one, but entertaining as well. All of our houses, they are structured after an ancestor. If you have a look at the apex of the house, that is the head of the ancestor, elevated high so you can look upon his land, his descendants and also the visitors that enter inside. Now the Māori culture is it's intricate in a way and when it comes to the carvings as well, there's intricacies all through it and there's a story for every single one. And here in the Farimoi, well there's stories as well. So I'm going inside now to get some more culture. <laughs> Now this particular house uh, is called Te Ao Huri Huri. Te Ao Huri Huri means the ever-changing world. Why? Because all the carvings on this side, okay, on this side of the wall, represents our spiritual belief system pre-European. So it pretty much talks about our Māori cosmogony. And then we circulate around, we circle around, and then we talk about some of our most recent history. Okay? For instance, this carving right up the front here, this here is Tangaroa. Tangaroa is the guardian of the ocean. So when we would go into his realm, we would ask permission first. What gives us the right to go there to start collecting food, uh, like fishing, diving, swimming, when one, we do not own it, and two, we didn't create it with our own hands. In any culture, let's face it, eating is a very, very important part. And of course, in the Māori culture, it's very, very important. And we're going to have a, what you call, I guess, the closest thing as you'll get to a true and traditional hangi here. As you can see, the boys have done a magnificent job. And we're going to head down to the Farakai, which is the eating house, and get right into it. <laughs> Well, 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 the hot stones and the steam, they've done their work. We're about to indulge in a hungi. We've got our root vegetables, the kumara, the taito, we've got the carrot. Of course, we've got our meats. And I've thrown in a couple of little extras, the green lip mussels. This is New Zealand, isn't it? I'm going to join the gang. Oh, sorry I'm late, girls. What the heck? You started without me, didn't you? It's all right. I'll make up for it. All right, is it?
The Tamaki staff are some of the most beautiful and connected people I've ever met. This is the ultimate Māori cultural journey, combining education, enlightenment, and most of all, fun. My tip, book the overnight stay. It's the next level. Such a great experience here at Tamaki Māori Village, and come here when you're in Rotorua and experience it for yourself. You know, my mind's been open, my heart is open, I've taken in culture, um, my belly's full, and it's nearly bedtime. So that means it's time for a bedtime story. In the beginning, there was darkness, and in this darkness was Papa Tuanuku, Earth Mother, Heranginui, Sky Father. 10% discount when booking via its website for the evening cultural experience. You must use the promo code COOKSPANTRY. Book now at tamakimalivillage.co.nz.